just after dawn, it's time to go. But these children aren't boarding a school bus. The truck is taking them to the fields to work. They're not dressed for it. They're far too young. It's no life for a child. But now these young refugees are doing the jobs of adult laborers. They cost much less. Across the fertile Beka Valley, children are harvesting crops on Lebanese farms. Grapes, potatoes, today it's courgettes. A Syrian middleman keeps them in line and keeps a share of the wages. It's hard work. 13-year-old Ahmed tells me his hands hurt, but he has to do it to support his family. Tarek Mazloum is from a local charity trying to help Syrian refugees. How little are the children? What have you seen here in the fields? Between uh, 4 to 14. They, uh, each one uh, takes about $4 each day for working between 4 or 6 hours. Very difficult. And the children have no choice? No. Their only choice is to work. Charities like his ensure children also get some education, even if it's just informal classes in the middle of their tented settlement. Three, four, knock on the door. It keeps them from falling too far behind. Nothing about these Syrian children's lives is as it should be. Working in the fields at such a young age, going to makeshift classes in the open air. But it's an impossible task to get all of the Syrian children into the Lebanese school system. But here, at least they're safe. They've escaped the war, and that's something. There's six children in this family's tent, and two cousins arrived from Syria just last night. It's better here, says 10-year-old Rasha. There are no bombs. But it pains a mother to send her children to the fields. I feel like my heart is being ripped out, Fatima says. But what can I do? If they don't work, we can't live. Even those tasked with protecting children are struggling to find answers to a problem that's getting much worse. We are seeing now what was invisible is becoming really visible. And uh, this is because the numbers are large, because the families are destitute and they need, uh, and they need the money. But to, it's up to us to again to find a solution. There are no easy solutions to end child labor or to end a punishing war. But Syria's future is being destroyed here too. Lise Doucette, BBC News, in the Bekaa Valley, Lebanon.